Hey guys, Luna here, and we're back with a bit of Murder by Numbers. It's been a few days since we actually did a case, but we're here, and let's see here, did we investigate the deck? Yes, we did. So let's go to the back to the bridge and question our unique author. Nope, I already talked to Diane. I forgot that I did. Let's talk to our favorite detective. Well, you got anything to tell me what that about that new lead or what? We managed to crack the right code from the radio signal. It all leads to a frame from one of Aaron's films. Okay, let's see it. It was this one. Does Aaron Jansen mean anything to you? I think I saw in a furniture catalog once. It's a person. It is a person. They worked on one of Aaron Kino's films. The radio transmission pointed us right to the, to their name. I just don't know why. Any idea? I suggest you head down to the station and see if we have a file on them. If you're lucky, we'll get some answers. Will you radio ahead like before? Even I can't get into the LAPD just to hand over a victim's file to civilians. You'll have to hack into the database. And you're okay with that? No, but you obviously are, so I might as well get used to it. So. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to the bridge, actually, just so. You know anything about... The scene and no take numbers on the scriberboard didn't make sense until we, until we realized they were a key to decoding the radio message. Yes, sometimes that is not the image that is at fault, but our perspective. I don't know. This film style comes from movie movies in the name and Jensen Circuit. Who is he? I don't know. We worked on your film. He's in the credits. Did Ayasama know? Gucci meet everyone who manufactured his furniture. Is this your Lex? I prefer to let fate guide my hands. You must call the wrong numbers every often. Who are we to decide which numbers are wrong? A skull can hold great wealth, knowledge, and passion, or treasures beyond imagining. Okay, so time to go back to the precincts. Okay, the coast looks through. We need to access the police database and search for information art. What if someone catches us? I'll just tell them we're uh, computer technicians when we're here to fix the uh, parallel memory processes. That is not that is not a real thing. Yeah, they want me to know that. Now come on, we're here to get that file and I'll take a computer computing class. I will be as quick as possible for both of our sakes. records for Jansen art. One match found. The file is almost empty. No picture, no contact details, just the name. It might not even be the right person. There's one other piece of data, a court record. Mr. Jansen fired a lawsuit three years ago against Aaron Kino. Now we're talking. What was the claim? Theft of property. It seems the case was settled out of court, but... Most details have been removed from all records at the request of Aaron's defense attorney. And we both know who the, who that attorney was. Come on, I want to know what Aaron ha has to say about all this. Um, 
So let's present this first to him just to see if it. Guess we can't present that to him, so. No, yeah, so. So we go back to the bridge, I guess. I want to see if we can. You know what about knowing Art Chanson? We found court records that he says he filed a lawsuit against you. The mind is a difficult thing to grasp. Can you say for sure who and what you know? There is no point lying to us anymore. No point? Then I'll be blunt. I had forgotten about him. <laughs> that it is it was not my first day in court. I weather though these storms the only way I know how. I rise above them. Silent waves do not disturb the flight of birds. Except you didn't rise above it. Ray just made the problem go away. I'm sad it came to that. I liked crafts. He had such a strong distaste for life. I found it enviable. Crafts? You said you liked crafts. What did you mean? A certain style. Monica is the name. After all, what are labels between friends? What? Label? Style? Monica? Moniker? Honor, I get it. Crafts is a nickname. Very good. Maybe you'll solve this after all. Oh, I get it. Arts and crafts. He was a talented prop master. If it didn't exist, he, he could make it. That's a kind of magic, don't you think? I'm gonna have to, like, look, one... Ta ha I am going to have to have one more look through that Rolex. But you said Aaron Jansen isn't in there. Maybe not under that name, but if I look under C... Ah, there is a, car a card for crafts. It has a telephone number. I hope it's still in use. Hi, is it this Aaron Jansen? I'm calling about Aaron Kunai. Wait, don't hang up. I'm a detective and I need your help. Hmm. <sighs> well, he took it a little convincing, but once he heard I'm building a case against Aaron, he was happy to help. So, what did he say? After filming wrapped up on the Elms of Scottswood, a bunch of props were missing. They blamed Art at first, it nearly ended his career, but then he caught Aaron leaving the set with a box full of stuff. He couldn't believe it, she was just gonna let him take the blame. That would explain the lawsuit. Props used in filming can catch a, a, fetch a high price on the black market. Except they were never sold. Ray paid Aaron to withdraw the case, and no one ever found out what Aaron did with the missing props. Which, by the way, includes 200 clay skulls. Clay skulls? Like the ones we found? Exactly. Which means we have a direct link between Aaron, Kuno, and those diamonds. Let's go to tell, uh, tell Detective Cross. Good news! We managed to contact Aaron Jansen. Remember those clay skulls? Aaron stole them. Which means she almost certainly knew what they were being used for. Speaking of which, I just got off the radio with the headquarters. They found the buyer for those diamonds. You said they it, that you said they found the buyer for the diamonds. Remember the GPS he found? He thought it might have been Mal's escape route. Yeah, I guess you were wrong about that. Well, I asked headquarters to check out those coordinates. Anyways, they found a boat waiting there. Coast Guard had to chase them halfway around Santa Catalina, but they caught them eventually. It turns out that the captain had a warrant out for their arrest. Let me guess, smuggling. Exactly. And get this, they were they were the ones transmitting that co coded radio signal. So they were trying to make a contact with the an an enemy. Seems like this whole damn boat party was just a cover up for a diamond deal. So let's go find Erin. She can't talk away out of this one. Oh, Honor, we arrived at the climax of your story. You're wearing an expression of certainty. And you're certainly about to be wearing a pair of handcuffs. Have you cracked the case at last? I'd very much like to hear your conclusion. 
You are smuggling diamond teas in the clay skulls you stole from my Aunt Jensen. A fascinating theory, but I know nothing about diamonds. Who would I sell them to? Black market smugglers. The Coast Guard found, found them right where the enemy and an, an enemy's GPS indicated. You organized this whole boat party just to have a reason to head out there. But there were many people at the party. Any one of them could have arranged to meet the smugglers. No, they, no, they were transmitting a code word on, that only you would recognize as important. Um, part of the title of one of your films, which you found a copy right here on the boats. And when we explained that film, we found Arch Jansen's name circled. The same Arch Jansen you stole the skulls from. It's all connected. How convenient. You've done very well. But there's still one more question on it. Why? Look around you! I have more money than I need! Why would I smuggle diamonds? A, a cat can have a comfortable home and all the food could ever want, but it's still, but it will still hunt birds. Exquisite! I was beginning to think we would never understand each other. <laughs> I do not understand. The domestic cat does not kill, uh, need to kill. Yet it does. It is simply in its nature. Excuse me. Do not say another word. Give it up, Ray. It's over. Give up. I haven't even started yet. And Kuno, you're under arrest. Thank you, Detective. This is a false arrest. I'll have you hung out dry for this. You all talk, Kuno. She's going away good this time. I am a thousand frayed threads finally bound, yet I feel a great release. You're going to be our release, alright? I'm going to fight these charges and we're going to win it, just like always. Whatever you say, come with me, Erin. As Erin Kino's legal representative, I demand to know the charges. Do you hear me? What happened to due process? Is there anything left on the deck? No. Is there anything? Can't go home, so. How's the prisoner? And it's solo for now. Weird thing is, she almost seems happy. I know what you mean. It's almost like she wanted to get arrested. Perhaps she's doing research for her next script. It won't do her much good if Ray gets the charges dismissed. After she confessed? Not likely. But I guarantee you he'll find a way to get the sentence reduced. She'll be out in a year or two. Almost makes me wonder if it's all worth that uh, if it's worth all that effort. This is what it'll it be like so this is what it'll it's like to be a real detective. Even when you win, sometimes you still lose. But don't be too hard on yourself. This is the first time anyone's got a charge to actually stick to a kino. Thanks, but we're not done yet. What about Lori and Mel? We still don't know what happened to them. Agreed. We got a lot of loose ends to tie up. Jeez, can you believe we origi originally went out there for an information on Frig Pitchwell? Now that the diamond smuggling is sorted, we can get back to it. Is Ray still around? I might try asking a few more questions. Rather you than me. <laughs> All comfy. <laughs> what do you want? I still have a few loose ends and I want answers. Do you really think you and Aaron will get away with his smuggling diamonds? Nothing has been proven in a court of law. I can almost understand Aaron's motivation. She just does things just to see what it's like. But you, you went along with it all. I'll do what I have to. Anne isn't like me, are you? She she needs guidance. She needs to be protected. If Laurie Becker <laughs> gets being all cozied up in some blankets and stuff, it's, <laughs> it's making me sleepy as well as music. <laughs> if Laurie Becker was mixed up in all of this, you might as well tell us now because we will find out. I honestly have no idea what happened to her. 
You seem pretty angry that Aaron was arrested, but how far would you go to defend her? What are you getting at? You told Mal to stay away from the hoa, presumably because he knew it was full of illegal cargo, but then he found out anyways. Did you attack Mal Cruz because he knew too much? I object. That is a leading question. There is nothing to support that claim. Uh, but how about Mal himself? As soon as you'll talk, we'll know exactly what happened. It's no good. I can't get anything useful out of Ray. He's denying everything. Maybe not so long. An officer from Port Authority was just here. They found the missing life bar, and there was something inside. Let's see another puzzle. First puzzle of the day. <laughs> First. That's ten, so four, five, six. Yeah, so that's one more there. Let's see here. Six, three, four. So I can go there. That's a yeah, there's no way that could have been three, so.
crystal. So we're still rank C. They're missing some puzzles, or they're almost done. Or only halfway. A weapon. You okay, Scouts? You might need a minute to. No, I am fine. Please continue. This must be the gun that killed Lori. Can you tell anything important from it, Detective? A little. Could be wrong, but I think it's a custom made and model. Looks like it's been modified. Can't Scout tell for sure? I would have thought you'd known all about weapons since he's. Detective? There's no need to pretend any more honor. It is clear you told Detective Cross what I remembered. I feel like he had a right to know. I'm sorry if. There's no need to apologize. It was a logical decision. To answer, your detective, to answer your question, Detective, I only have a limited knowledge of firearms, but I can detect several unusual matching marks. I believe this gun was modified for a left-handed operation. That auto nine with things down? Give me a second, I'll go get Ray. Ray, are you left-handed? Is this your idea of a joke? Just answer the question. Yes, I'm left-handed. What does that have to do with anything? Everything. Ray you Kino, know, you're under the arrest of mur the murder of Laura Becker. Have you lost your mind? I didn't kill anyone. Save it for the jury. Saren was smuggling diamonds, right? Attacked Mo when he found out, and then he killed Laura when she found out. All that just to protect his sister. Family is important, as are friends. I'm sorry, I told Cross. I just thought that I would not find out. I know I shouldn't have told anyone without your permission, but it didn't seem fair to keep him in the dark. You think I am dangerous? I... I found someone who can help. They're waiting to meet you if you want. I want things to get back the way they were. Me too. He's locked up tight. Never met a lawyer who deserved it more. What? I interrupt something? We're heading back to my apartment. You sure you don't want to help me with the paperwork? That's where the real fun begins. Sorry, Detective. I promised I'd help Scott and I tend to keep that promise. Fair enough. Thanks for your help today, both of you. I mean it. Let me know if, there's, if you hear anything about the hospital about Mel. Will do. And Scout, good luck. Hey. Okay, so question? It's... I have nothing more to say to you. I guess back home we go. Can't you just tell me who we're meeting? Didn't anyone ever teach you about to teach you to be patient? I do not believe that is in my programming. I will add it to my list of requested features for version 2.0. 2.0? We didn't even make it to version 1.0. Scout, this is Gina. I... I know your face. You do? That... That is amazing. That's amazing. Your long-term memory must have self-prepared. Do you remember how you know me? I doubt it. He has been in trouble making connection between images and data. You should have seen him when he thought we were car keys. You... You worked at the place where I was supposed. Seems like he's making connections just fine to me. Not a connection, an educated guess. I remember your face, but the social data associated data is corrupted. Therefore, I know you from a time before I wiped my memory. All my recovered memories from that time have been involved. In, they have involved the place where I was built, so you must also be from there. Full self awareness, logical exploration, your entire your entire personality matrix is still intact. Impressive. Especially considering the condition I was left in. You are never supposed to end up on a scrap heat scout. Then what happened? <sighs> I need to get that missing data. Give me a second to get scout set up. What data? What is she doing? Gina has a plan. She can write a modification to disable the black box routine safe place in you. Uh, you all set this up without asking me? I, I couldn't risk mentioning earlier. We had to be sure it was even possible. I thought we told each other everything. Okay, I'm gonna hook up into Scout's neural net to get some diagnostic data. 
Is it safe to move around? Sure, just let me know if you feel anything unusual. You know, latency spikes, you know, path, mirrors, and melted circuits. Gina, I, Gina, I have some questions. Ask away, just try not to hover too close to the TV. It screws up for my connection. What will this modif- what will the modification do? It's a patch to block or reroute your weapon subroots. If it'll work, they'll be completely disabled. You're gonna need- you're gonna be able to use them even if you want to. And if it doesn't work? One thing at a time, Scouts. Can you tell me about where- where I was created? We were designed at a build- and built at a- at the SSI labs, not far from here. It was a purpose-built facility for research and development, and the scout project was the crown jewel. And are the labs still there? I don't know. Probably not. They sold pretty much everything when SSI shut down. The scout project? Scout. Self-contained, uh, operating... Uh, I forgot the rest. Uh, one of Tom's little jokes. I swear I'd certain... I swear I'd certain something different every week. Who is Tom? Tom Schmidt, your hardware engineer. You would have been proud to see how you turned out if... Evan, I have an important question. One I have wanted an answer for to for some time. Why did you build me? The goal was cr to create a robot that could operate in places too dangerous for humans. Radiation, extreme heat, flooding. So I can swim? Tested to a depth of 3,000 feet. I wanted you to be able to find and help people. That's why I took the job. So what changed? You were too much of a success. Your ability not only to access situations, but also to reason and adapt to changes. Once they saw what Scott could do, as I said, I wanted the, the project to refocus on military applications for deployment into combat zones. There is no money in saving lives, but there's a lot of money in taking them. Exactly. I fought in every step of the way, but it was no use. They set up a defensive system research division and gave them complete access to process. One, one morning I came into the lab and Scott wasn't where I left him. I ran a memory check and someone had added new code that I could access. After that, it started happening more regularly. Tom and I didn't know what they were doing, but we could guess. When I woke up, all my memory breaks were corrupt. At first I thought they had been damaged, but then I started remembering the things about the lab. About you. I remember the truth. I deleted those memories, and now I know I... I know what I did. I don't really want to talk about it. I think Scout killed Tom. I... I do not want to hurt people, Gina. Not again. If this modification works, you won't be able to. Now, can we change the subjects? Probably kill Tom. Okay, got the data. Now I just need to write the patch. How long will it take? Hard to say. I never had to access this part of his code before. Hi, right, Detective. What's up? What? Oh, okay, we'll be right there. What's your, what is wrong? It's Mal. He's dead! But he was in the hospital. He was getting better. I don't understand it either. Cross the debt reading downtown to fill us in on the details. What about my software patch? Can I go? Sure, I'll just sit here on my own. That's cool. Don't worry about me. Would you prefer it if I stayed to keep you company? What? No, I was being serious. I work better without distractions. But you can grab me a bag of chips while you're out. I'm starving. So nothing else. Came as quick as I could. Is my really? Yeah, someone got to him. The hospital hasn't. The hospital hasn't released an official statement yet, but I saw it for myself. Not instead. How was he killed? Smothered to death with the pillow. Simple, but effective, and quiet. Medical examiners say it happened within the last hour. The prime suspect has got to be whoever attacked him in the first place, but I thought it was Ray. Me too, but he's still locked in a cell. Either he's learned how to teleport or we've got a problem. And find, ev find any evidence in the room? Nothing. The place is totally clean. This is a professional job. 
Our biggest witness is dead, and we've got nothing. Not quite. I pulled the CCTV. So how do you, how did you get the CCTV so fast? It's a brand new system, all digital. Only got it solid a week ago. There's a good chance the killer had no idea. A digital recording? I could scan through it. That's what I'm counting on. Here, it's on this disc. Ooh, more puzzles. Huzzah! So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Six, seven, eight, nine. We like this, this music. I kind of like this beat that they have going for this section because it's pretty intense what they're going through. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, yeah, that's one. This is definitely two. This is could be either or. So I'll just do it like that. that way. There's some. Four, five, six, seven. Has to be two, this has to be three, and go. And this is four.
Okay. Time. The CCTV footage. Huzzah! Digital footage downloaded. Scanning frames. Focus on the footage from about an hour ago. Look for anything unusual, suspicious figures. Su I have something. It is Clyde. Muscle man? The meathead? Are you sure? The footage is conclusive. White man, prominent facial scar, wearing a white uniform with a cap. Left-handed. Left-handed, but that means that Pistols was his all along. He shot Lori. All this time, I thought he was just some charter captain. For good reason. Ray told, told us he hired a play from an agency. Either he was lying, or he really had no idea. I think it's time out we found out which. Afternoon, Ray. How is your cell? I have better use in my just to make some wise clacks. What, Clay, what can you tell me about Clyde Muscleman? The Shadow Captain? I almost forgot about him. I don't know any more what I already said. Mal called sick, the agency said Clyde as a replacement. Except Mal was locked in the cargo hold. How could he have called it sick? Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't receive the call myself, but that's what Clyde told me when he arrived. What difference does it make? More than you realize, Clyde was lying to you. Shouldn't you be asking Mal about this? Surely he's awake by now. He's not gonna wake up, right? He's dead. Now Chris is dead. He was murdered in his hospital bed. I'm sorry to hear that. I've known Mal for a long time. With your help, we can bring his killer to justice. The ground, is this your idea of justice? Can you give us the details of the higher company you use? You hijack my yacht, you arrest my sister, accuse me of murder, and then you ask me for help? You're out of your mind. Why should I trust you? You're still on the hook for Laura's murder. If you want to get out of here, you should be working with us, not against us. I'll take a few, more than a few sweet words to get me to trust you and that bullhound of a detective. What if I said we get a lead that could prove your innocence? We just need help, your help to confirm it. I'll believe it when I see it. We have CCTV footage of Clyde leaving the hospital where Mal was killed. Caught him red-handed, huh? Left-handed, actually. If he murdered Mal, there's a good chance he killed L Lori, too. I told you I didn't kill anyone. You've been so focused on your vendetta against us that you ran headfirst into prosecution with no thought for due process. I, did, I don't have a vendetta against you or your sister, right? All I care about is finding the truth. If you can tie Lori's murder to Clyde, you're free to, you'll be free to go. How am I supposed to help, even if I want to? Maybe you've forgotten, but Detective Cross has me locked in his cell as, you, as he points to invisible bars. <laughs> right now, you've got no way to track down Clyde. We need to know where he is. Can you think of anything that might help? He was waiting on the boat when he arrived this morning. Of course, I noticed that tattoo right away. That's right, he told us that he's in the military, served in Vietnam. Scout, do you think you could look up his service record? It is possible, but I would need more search parameters. Come on, Ray, you're a lawyer. You're supposed to be good at finding little inconsistencies. Now he mentioned it, there was something a little strange. When he introduced himself, he said his name was Hyde. He corrected himself right away, so at the time I thought it was nothing of it. But now I get the feeling he made up a new name on the spot. You think Clyde is really called Hyde? Not exactly an invented false name, but it's worth a shot. This may be enough information. I can access military records through the process of police computer. Give me a moment to establish a data link. The military? But they must have the tightest security in the country. They've never gone up against me before. Huzzah! Two, two, five, and
20 seconds to spare. Hacking completes. I'm almost disappointed by the military security. I found an, an administration account with the password password 123. <laughs> right, what kind of idiot would have that as their password? <laughs> I'm sure there's people all over the world for that. Searching for visual matches with the with the tattoo on Clyde's sorry, I mean Hyde's arm. It seems to be an insignia of the fifth Marines Regiment. Narrowing search by name, known physical characteristics, and service record. One record found Corporal Hyde Muscleman. So that that really was his that, so that really was his real name. I had fought at several key battles in Vietnam and remained a member of the 5th Marines until he was dis dishonorably discharged in 1977. They kicked him out? What for? Misconduct under the Article 90 of the UCMJ, assaulting or willfully disobeying a superior officer. But there is something else for you here you may find more interesting. Hyde was suspected of killing Staff Sergeant in a friendly fire incident in 1968. There was a solid case against him, but a key piece of evidence was lost. A bullet casing. You mean all this time we've been holding onto evidence from a 30-year-old murder? Sometimes the solution to a puzzle relies on one missing piece of information. Without it, progress is impossible. Are there any records what, about what he did uh, after he left the Marines? We still need a way to track him down. The police kept a close watch on him for several years after he was discharged. He drifted between jobs, and their records gradually became less detailed. The last entry was from 1991. It simply says, now employed by SSI. <sighs> ah, gasp! Did you su just say that Hyde worked at SSI? Scout! That's the company that created you. Do you think he was involved in my project? Do you think he is responsible for... I'm not sure, but I bet Gina could tell us. Let's see if you have anything to say, Cross. Any good news? I tried my usual sources, but nothing's... But so far, nothing. We got a new lead on Muscle Man, thanks to Ray. Ray was helpful? He was plenty cooperative once he realized I was trying to prove he didn't kill Lori. Typical defense lawyer. Happy to fight the good fight, but only one to suits him. So what did you find about but uh, find out about Clyde? Firstly, his name's not Clyde. It's Hyde, like Jacqueline Hyde. He was, in a, he was a Marine. Dishonorably, dis dishonorably discharged. Likely killed a superior officer, and that's not even the interesting part. After his discharge, he got a job in, at the lab that created scouts. I'll be damned. You think there's some kind of link? That's what I'm hoping to find. That's what I'm hoping to find out. So, guess. Uh... Did you solve your case? No. If anything, it's gone more complicated. Well, I'm not done yet either. Can't rush these things. Got to take your time and think it through. How's, your, how's it working? There's a lot of weird stuff in this code, but nothing I can't handle. The bigger problem is going to be deploying the patch. I don't know if I can do it without a specialized tool. What specialized tool do you need? Something called a data shunt. It's for uploading software to a protected drive. Not something you can buy off the shelf. And you can't do it without? No. This patch has to hook into a dozen core systems to overwrite scouts that she's making. What do you mean? It'll completely disable your offensive systems. You won't be able to use them even if you want to. Wait, this will override Scout's decision making? You're gonna change the way he thinks? I'll take away his ability to hurt people. What's the problem? I am just not sure if I'm comfortable with the idea. I don't want to hurt anyone again, Honor. But right now that's your decision. If we take that... It... But if we take that away from you, if we force you to never hurt anyone, does that mean anything anymore? I'm not sure I understand. Can we discuss the philosophy later? I've got work to do. Do you know anyone at the SSA called Hyde Muscleman? Yeah, 
You worked in the defensive system, you search. It's a mixed military brief beefcake with some more with more muscle than sense. That sounds like Hyde. Do you know any do you know what happened to him? After say after SSA shut down, the head of defense system started his own company, I think. Hyde went with, went with him. Any idea which company? It was a long time ago. It had a name like Lethal, Lethal. Lethal? Yeah, that's the one. Are you sure Hyde went to work at Lethal Security? Yeah, he was sick of working in the research lab anyways. Only time I ever saw him smile when they were doing weapon tests. We've met the CEO of Lethal. His company is connected to three different murder cases. Wait, you met Jack? D did he see scouts? He was very interested in me. He even offered to repay me after I was damaged. Oh no, if he knows you're still working. Do you think he might do something? Try to sneak out or something? I don't know, but you better, be better watch your back out there. Well... I spoke to Gina about how he did work at SSI in their defense division and his boss was Jack Larson. Larson? CEO of Lethal. Yeah. When the scout project went bad, CEI shut up down, shut, was shut down. Jack found Lethal and Hyde went with him. Let me get this straight. Hyde works for Jack, but so did Lori. This gets more complicated by the minute. If this is how they ha handle dispatch at Lethal, I hope they have a good employee health plan. <laughs> Lori contacted us because she wanted to give information on Frank Pritchwell. This is, has to be why she was killed. Larson's gone too far this time. He may be con the common link between these deaths, but we still have no evidence against Jack himself. Then we need to find evidence. Right, Detective? Right. Jack Larson always been one step ahead of us, but not this time. We need to get inside the lethal offices. I agree. How... Ah, I agree. How long will it take to get a search warrant? That's going to be tricky. I'm not exactly in the best terms with my captain right now. What's going on? What with the whole going undercover without telling anyone thing? He's never going to play the ball. Okay, so no warrant. What about Mean Scout? It's a private security company. Like honor, you can't just walk in through the front door. I am confident I can bypass security. I hacked into a military server without issue. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Forget detective work, maybe being a cat burglar is my real calling. I'm not gonna give you permission to break into a private office. But if someone did break in and evidence happened to fall into police hands, say no more, detective, we understand. I do not understand. He fell security. So what should I be looking for in Lethal's offices, hypothetically speaking? Anything that might tie this case to Jack Larson. Laurie worked there, right? She might left something behind. Just try not to trip any limes. If you get caught, you're on your own. I can't barely out. And so off we go to Lethal Security. This place is suspiciously quiet. Hacking their security system was some of my best work. I thought you were just disabling the security alarms. How did you get everyone to leave? While I had access to the network, I sent an urgent message to everyone in the company. They think the building is fu being fumig fumigated by for killer bees. I guess this, may <laughs> this is kind of a sting operation. Let's take a look around. There's gotta be something here linked to Lori or Hyde. So this is probably where we start to get into like the upper rings. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Where is it? So, there it is, the box. Spoopy music! I six so eight so then that's put that there. So put that there, so it's then that. Spoopy music oh, Whatever shall I do? Oh. 
Who were you got earlier, Jesus? <laughs> Cause whatever shall I do? I'm so scared. This two and then four go here. Three, four, five, so and then the rest can be knocked off. Three, four, five, six. So, three, four, five, six. Um, three, four, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. So then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's yeah, this is part of the four, so and this is Here, yeah, so I two. Yes, this has to be the two. Let's see here, so that. This is five. Not, yeah, that makes sense. Three would be here. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six. I'll knock off those. That's most likely the floor. I'll knock off that one. Four is here. She's there.
handle? A lock? Uh, uh, sure, it just looks like a handle though. Unless there's an open drawer. This locker is a bit lower back bigger. Now we might actually find out why she wants Dr. Cross. There's one problem. How do we open Lori's locker without the code? What if we have the code already? We've been carrying it around all day. I do not understand. The bracelet holds the Lori's bracelet holds the code. Remember the engraving? For answers hot on the day you fell. Exactly. I didn't understand it at first, but everything in this case keeps going back to lethal security. And who else else and who else do we know worked le at Lethal? Whose death was she, she trying to talk to Cross about? Frank Pritchell. I see. He fell to his death and Laura's locker might hold some answers. Frank Pritchell was trying to get killed on, was killed on June 14th, so try 0614. Why not 1406 for a day for the month? Oh, in America, we do it month and day. It's open. Let me scan inside. It's a uh, more puzzle. Six, seven, eight. Been seriously lacking in puzzles as of late. Six, seven. Five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's three, so I can knock those off. Six, four, six, seven, eight. So that's five, six, seven, eight. So if we do five, six, eight, there, three, four, three, four, four. So I can knock those off. So it's three, four, five, six, seven. Five, three, four, six, seven. Five, 
So the fourth fun. So this is definitely the two since so it's three one two rest or things to be figured along the way. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, so So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's the two so put that there and that there. Just use this and that. Rainbow letter CD. Oh no, CD. Was it on as a compact disc? Am I finally in B rank? Gosh, what's gonna take for it to get to B rank? For goodness' sake. Interesting. It is a compact disc labeled backup. This is where I asked if you had a CD drive, and you'll say add it, add it to the list, right? Wrong. I didn't have a CD drive until I took one from that laptop Ryan gave you. Well, what do you know? Ryan is good for something. Okay, Scout, give it a whirl. Please wait while I read the contents. <laughs> Can't you read any faster? Sorry, Honor. It is only a single speed drive. Ugh, take it back. Ryan is officially good for nothing. I have the data. It's Frank's Pritchell personal record. Is that it? I wonder why Laurie wanted to give this to Detective Cross. Because it holds information on every f job Frank was given by Lethal, and his last, his last assignment before he died was to intimidate Black Patterson. So Ryan was telling the truth. Frank hadn't gone, ro hadn't gone rogue when he came after Blake. It was a Lethal job. Jack Larson signed on for Ellen himself, and if Jack lied about that part, perhaps he was a lie how Frank died. But Cross is right, Frank well, Patrol didn't commit suicide. He messed up on a job. He messed up so badly that Jack had to kill him, had him killed to cover it up. Come on, Scout, we gotta get the CD to Cross. Not so fast. Hide! That's Captain and Muscle Man to you. Have some respect. Murderers don't deserve respect. You've been busy, just like Lori. And looks what happened to her. Now give me that CD. Frank said, and you'll stay that way. You won't get away with this. You've killed too many people. Detective Cross will. Cross will do nothing. Not enough evidence. Not without that CD, anyway. And why should we give it to you? You're not leaving this room alive either way. And over the sea, I'll make it quick. Wait, what about Jack? Do you really want to have to tell him about uh, tell him you killed Scout? You won't care. Scout's just another loose end. 
wrong. Jack wants Scott for something. Destroying him would be a big mistake. And you know what Jack does to people who've made mistakes. I'm not gonna end up like Frank. Jack needs me. You can keep telling yourself that, but you're expendable to him, just like everyone else. <clears throat> Gotta call Jack. Damn it, he's locked the door. Any ideas? I will look around. There must be a way out. Out the window. Jump out of the window. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, three, four, five. So these obviously connect, so that's six oh one here. And it really help me, so it's on the go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six. Seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. That's... I don't know about that one. Well, there can only be one more here, so that has to be that. That's to fight it up. That can be it too. Together, so I can do that. Knock these off. B for five, six, seven, six, seven. So I can those off.
let's see here, so... This is... I think this is one down here, two here, knock that off. That's one. And I really think it's five. It's one back there. Generator? P sure. And now I'm rank B. What is this, and why is it so heavy? I think it is an uninterruptible power supply. It provides energy power to an event of electrical failure. So it's a really big battery. I bet it could be delivered a pretty big shock if we could discharge it. In theory, but how would, you, would we do that? Computers. six so wait now five six seven eight. So yeah that knock that off so that's five four five six eight so three four five six seven eight Six, five, six. Let's see, this on a side like this way better. Two, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. Four, 
four, five, six, eight. I just realized. Apologies, I must have been extremely quiet for the last past little while. I just am very focused on trying to solve this, these puzzles. And after a certain point, your mind just ends up focusing on what's ahead since. That's what needs to be done at the time. So yeah, that's one. Just wish I knew where he's lined up. So I do know this for sure. Two's there, three's there. And so, obviously, this is a speculation for where they would be since we don't know exactly where they would be in terms of where the three lines up. So, so you just have to take detective reasoning skills. You just kind of just have to take a few guesses here and there, as sometimes that's the only best shot you got. Sometimes 
it pays off when you finally see where the next part of the solvable line is. Since first and foremost, you always want to try and solve each complete line if you can, since less lines mean less things to have to worry about in terms of the long run. So, um, what? That's a three. That's two. I think that's three, and I can knock that off. Since so that's not part of the floor, that makes my life easier. here. Four, five, six. That's a two, this is a five. Wires, I guess? Cables, yeah. And... Power cables? You want me to try and tie hide up? Is that, that an option? He's twice my size! You might as well ask me to try and knock him out! That is not unusable as it seems. These are power cables. If you find a way to deliver a high power voltage shock, Scott, I'm not gonna do it. If, if you connect these powers to the UPS, it could deliver a shock powerful enough to incapacitate hide. But we do not know how much power is stored in the battery. Only one way to find out. I can hear Hyde coming back. Try and distract him. How? Doesn't matter, just keep him focused on you. Bad news, you. Where's the girl? You should be more concerned about me. You? Don't make me laugh. I won't let you hurt my friends. Listen up, you dumb robot. You don't want to play games with me. I am not playing games. <gasps> the killer side. Assault mode engaged. Threat detected. What the... Weapon systems online, ready to engage. D don't shoot. He ship has sailed, Captain. Yes, got him. Target lost. Target lost. Scout, what are you doing? Seeking new target. Scout, no! Seeking new target. Seeking n new. Honestly, I love that design. That looks so cool. 
What the hell was that? I... I don't... do not know. I was trying to distract him and something took over. It's alright, you're back to normal now. Yes, back to normal. You better tie up hide before he comes around. Can you check if he was carrying anything? Yes, I think so. And that's where we're gonna call for, for this episode of Murder by Numbers. I have a feeling we're basically at the end now, and we're going to be finishing this case off soon enough, and we'll be able to see what the scout's final memory was. But anyways, I hope you have a good day, night, week, month of your life, and may the stars forever guide your path to wherever it might lead you next.